This is going to be 10 first appearances in my comic book collection, so stick around. What is good, brothers and sisters? It's your boy John back with a new video. And I was tagged by Paul over at Sector 2815 to get on this get in on this challenge of 10 first appearances in your personal comic book collection. Uh, this was a trend that was started, I think, by Alex the Comic Hoarder. Uh, and he tagged a bunch of people to go ahead and do their first 10 appearances, first appearances, uh, and they tagged other people and it's come on down the line. There's been a ton of people who have done this and, uh, I'm telling you, there's some fire videos out there. People have been dropping, uh, just some banger grails and, uh, some spec books that are really high and, and, and just some fun stuff to look at. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any of that. So this is just going to be 10 first appearances that mean something to me. They're in my collection uh, and they mean something to me. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to start with All, Squ All Star Squadron number 25. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the first appearance of Obsidian and Jade, who are the children of Alan Scott and Rose or a.k.a. Thorn. Um, and the first appearance of the Silver Scarab, who is the son of the Golden Age Hawk man and hawk girl and uh first appearance of nuclon who later becomes adam smasher and this is by uh, roy thomas and jerry ordway and i love uh infinity incorporated and all-star squadron jsa i love all those old and old heroes uh so you're gonna see a little bit of that in the rest of my picks uh yeah so that's gonna start us off then we're gonna ha go right to Justice Society of America, number one, and this was a series that was done um, by Lynn Straczynski and Mike Parabek, and it's the first appearance of Jesse Chambers, who is the daughter of Johnny Quick and Libby Lawrence, the first Liberty Bell, and she later becomes Jesse Quick, uh, and then later in the JSA series, she picks up her mother's mantle and becomes the second Liberty Bell. Uh, and this is her first appearance here. Staying in that same area, we got uh, All Star Comics number 58, um, and this is the first appearance of Power Girl. You see her there on the cover, uh, and I love these old Earth One, Earth Two kind of jams they used to do back in the day. Uh, and this is um, Jerry Conway wrote on the writing, and Mike Grell on the art. You can't go wrong with Mike Grell on art. Speaking of which, we're going to go to Superboy in the Legion of Superheroes, number 226. First appearance of Dawn Star, written by Paul Levitz, and again, art by Mike Grell. And you can see, got a little Mike Grell signature I got him to do at the con I went to. Uh, yeah, so love Superboy in the Legion of Superheroes. Always been a big fan of that book uh, when I was growing up. Lots of cool different characters, and that was the first appearance of Dawn Star. Next up, we'll be staying kind of in the Superboy reign. There's Superboy number one. This will be the first appearance of Knockout. And uh, Knockout is a female fury, uh, one of, uh, raised by Granny Goodness. Uh, and she had a fun little role in the Superboy book for a little while. Uh, and I really liked the character later on in uh, Secret Six. Uh, she was a fun part of that book. Um, and uh, I like that character a lot. Next up, this one I kind of just threw in for fun because it's silly and, and fun for me, but it's Extreme Justice, number nine. Uh, and this is the first appearance of the Wonder Twins in the DCU proper. Uh, so that's uh, by Ivan Velez and Al Rio. I believe the cover is actually Howard Porter. Uh, yeah, Howard Porter on the cover, but Al Rio on the interior art. Um, there's the Wonder Twins there fighting something or other but look poor booster down there in his old extreme days he doesn't look so good so uh next is justice league international and this is the first appearance of ice and uh you know 
Uh, Ice was a cool character in this Justice League series, but some writers didn't handle her so well later on down the line. Um, but she was cool to be, you know, and uh, she's really great in the New Human Target series, so that's why I included this one in here. I really like how the character is being kind of, it's kind of mysterious, femme fatale in the in the Human Target uh, miniseries that's going on now. Uh, so check that out. This is a personal pick for me, and this is Zero Hour number one. Not a big deal, not a big book, uh, but it's the first appearance of Jack Knight, the second Starman, and that uh, Starman run uh, by James Robinson and Tony Harris was a big part of me uh, continuing to stay in comics back in the 90s. That run uh, just kind of drew me in and... and in a time where I was kind of waning on sticking around, uh, that, that book kind of held me on. Uh, so, and this is uh, by the great Dan Jurgens. Uh, another kind of goofy, silly one I'm throwing in. Uh, it doesn't really count. But this is uh, Secret Files and Origins of DCU Heroes. And this is the number one. And this is the uh, first appearance of any writing in a comic book by Jeff Johns. So a Jeff Johns appearance, right? Uh, and... Uh, it's just a little blurb he did uh, here on uh, the Star Spangled Kid and Stripe, uh, which was his big, big book he pushed uh, when he first came along. Very personal book for him. And that's a little right up there is his first writing in comics. Next up, we have uh, X-Men Annual number 11. Uh, and this is by Chris Claremont and Art Adams, and it's the first appearance of Gambit. Uh, or we can have Uncanny X-Men 226, the first appearance of Gambit by Chris, Chris Claremont and Andy Kubert on this one. I don't know. You guys can fight about it in the, in the comments. This one came out first, uh, but it takes place in the future. This one came out after that one. Uh, but chronologically, it's the first appearance of Gambit. So either way, first appearance of Gambit, whichever way you guys want to go with it. Last but not least, this again, another one that's kind of a fun one for me that I like personally. And that's Deadpool number 65. It's the first appearance of the Black Mask and Agent X. Uh, and this is by Gail Simone and uh, Yudon on the art. And I really like this series. It's, uh, it's kind of gone up in value or price. Uh, out there lately just because there's a low print run of this uh, this part of Deadpool um, and so they're harder to find uh, but I thought it was great I thought uh, you know De De Simone handled Deadpool well is really funny uh, and kind of morbid and weird which is what Deadpool should be um, so yeah I dug it so that's my first uh, 10 first appearances they're nothing you know nothing big nothing too fancy but they're just things I like uh, and I have in my collection uh, I'm going to tag three people because uh, that's what you're supposed to do so we can keep this going and all of their information will be down below I'm going to tag up I'm going to put in the information for Paul uh, Sector 2815 who tagged me uh, I'll put in the information for Alex the Comic Quarter so you can go back and see his original video that started all of this uh, and then I'm going to tag three people I'm going to tag my brother Digger Jim uh, because I know he has some books that I would have liked to have used that I don't have here. He has up there. Uh, so I want to see what he puts out. That'll be fun. I'm going to tag uh, Justin over at No Good Comics. If, he's got a, if he hasn't done this already, he may have. I should have probably researched. Uh, and if not, I'm going to see if he's uh, got something he wants to show. Uh, and then I'm going to hit up uh, Circumstances. All three of those guys are going to be tagged up down below too, so you can go to their channels. And even if they don't decide to do this uh, challenge, that's okay. You can check out their channels and find some cool content. Uh, so check it all out, and I uh, appreciate you guys sticking around. Have a good day. Peace.